Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video I want to help you to get through the first tech assignment that's associated with the second project in the class, the one on credit cards. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have access to the Google Sheet for your team. And what it's going to be named is something like 142P2 for Project 2, and then Team with a number there. You'll probably find it over here in your Shared With Me folder. So you want to go into that uh, and then move that into your My Drive. When you do that, you're going to open up. You're going to see what you've seen in typical uh, Google Sheets, which is you're going to see all your team information there. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create a new sheet on this. Each one of you are going to do this for your team. And then we're going to go ahead and create a sheet that calculates out your average daily balance. Now that sheet, when you're done, is going to look a lot like this one. This is the average daily balance sheet corresponding to the sample credit card statement I gave you. And what you'll notice is along the left hand side are the dates over which that credit card statement ran. It ran from December 2nd all the way down to January 4th. There's a column here for credits, for charges, and for the balance. Off to the right hand side here we've got some of the information about previous balance and then how to get the new balance. And then off to the far right we have the APR and I have the calculation here for making the average daily balance. When you're done with this assignment, you're going to have something very similar to this. Each one of you on your team is going to make sure that you do the credit in the statement, like I have here. The project, however, has a number of different purchases. Each one of you is going to need to pick one or two purchases, depending on the size of your team, and you're going to go ahead, put the credit in here, put that one or two purchases, and then go ahead and figure out the average daily balance. Once all team members have worked this out and each one of you have done a different set of purchases, you'll combine them all together and then that will be your average daily balance that you'll use to create the credit card statement that we're trying to work towards in this particular project. So let's go back to my blank sheet here. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new sheet. So I'm going to click on the plus button here. And I'm going to give this a name. Since this is Tech 4, I'm going to call it T4 underscore. And then I'm going to put my last name on it. This will help me to identify who you are and which assignment it is. All right, so let's go up to our first line here. And in this first line, we need to go ahead and put the headings for the columns. So in the first column, I'm going to go ahead and put the dates. In the second column, credits. So I'm going to type that in. Column C is going to be charges. And then column D is going to be balance. So I'm going to leave this second row alone because in here is where I'm going to go ahead and place my opening balance. So in this case, we're under balances, I'm going to put 2088.36. You'll want to go ahead and use the proper uh, previous balance for your statement. And then in the third row, column A, I'm going to put the first date off of that statement. So my statement started with 12 slash 2 slash 2009. Now I could type every single one of the dates in down here, but that would take me a long time. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I'm going to grab my little fill handle here and I'm going to drag it down a little bit. Notice that it goes ahead and fills in the rows below with the subsequent dates. Now I need to do this all the way down to January 4th, so let me keep dragging it. And if I go down to row 36, that gets me down to January 4th. So instead of having to type all those in, I'm just going to have it fill it for me. 
I have a charge of 6551 on December 7th. I have a credit of 135. And then another charge on December 13th of 104.90. Remember, when I did this in class, this was actually, there were several charges that occurred on this date, and this just is just the sum of those. So for me, these are the charges and credits that I have. Remember, you're going to have different ones corresponding to your project letter. All right, now I need to figure out the balances. So I'm going to go to row three here, column D, and I'm going to tell it how to go ahead and calculate the new balance. So I'm going to start with an equals because I'm doing a calculation. And I'm going to have to take the previous balance. So I'm going to click on that. And that's going to put in D2. And when I have a credit, that's going to subtract from that balance. So I'm going to say minus. And then I'm going to click on the credit, which is in B3. And if I have a charge, that's going to add to that balance. So I'm going to type plus and then click on C3. Now there's nothing in B3 and C3, so it's just gonna come up with zero on these things. And it's gonna give me the exact same balance that I had at the very opening. But the nice thing about what I've done is by having this in here and showing the pattern of looking at the previous balance and the credits and the charges, now I'm gonna be able to go up here, grab that fill handle and drag it down. Notice that it keeps the same balance until I have my charge, in which case it adds the 6551 to give me 2153.87. Now I'm going to go and grab that fill handle here, and I'm going to drag it all the way down till the very end of my dates. By doing that, it's going to go ahead and give me a running balance on each and every single day. So now I've got that sitting in there. So now that I have what the balance is on each and every single day to calculate the average balance, I just have to calculate the average of all the numbers from D3 all the way down to D36. But let me put in a few other things here. So first of all, in F2, I'm going to go ahead and put the previous balance. So I'm going to type previous balance. In the one below that, I'm going to put payments. Charges below that. Interest. So that'll be my finance charge. And then what the new balance is going to be. In column G, I'm going to go ahead and calculate out those numbers. Now, I'm also going to put over here in J, let's see, that would be 5. I'm going to put my APR. And then underneath that, average daily balance. So in I, I'm going to put the numbers that go for the APR and average daily balance. And in G, I'm going to put the numbers that I need from uh, for these headings. So first off, I can do some of these things right away. The previous balance was what was over here in D2. So I'm going to type here equals, and then I'm going to click on D2. Or I can just type equals D2. That's going to go ahead and put that in. Now for payments, remember the payments is the sum of anything that I have in here. I only have one payment, but I want to allow for my this to have more than one payment. So I'm going to go ahead and realize that the payments or the credits here all go into column B and they go from B3 and if I scroll down to B36. So I'm going to type in here equals and then I'm going to use a special command sum. And what sum does is it'll add up all the entries in B3 to B36. And when you see me type that, notice it's highlighted where all those cells are. 
and I know anything that would be in those cells is going to contribute to this sum. If I type enter, it calculates that for me. I can do the same thing for charges, but remember that's in column C. So that's equals sum parentheses. Again, I could type in C3 through C36, or I could click and then drag down. And that accomplishes the exact same thing. And the parentheses, enter. If I scroll back up here, that's the sum of all of the charges. Now I get down to one that's a little bit more difficult. I have to calculate the interest. And remember, the interest depends on the interest rate, which I haven't put in here yet. In my case, it's 14.99. And then I'm going to type percent. And now I have to figure out my average daily balance. All right, so this is probably the most difficult part. I know my average daily balance goes from D3 all the way down to D36. I need to add those things all up and then divide by the total number of days. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll type equals sum parentheses. I need to go from D3 to D36. And now I'm going to use the slash key to do a divide. And now I'm going to use another special command, and this is called the rows command. What this does is if I give it a range of cells like D3 to D36, it'll count the number of rows that are there. And here these rows correspond to the days. So I'm going to type parentheses D3 colon D36 and then enter. It's gone ahead now and calculated out my average daily balance. I'm going to click on that and then go up here and say, I don't need that many decimal places. So I'm going to drop that down till I have uh, dollars and cents. All right, there's my average daily balance. Now I need to take that and compute the interest. So again, I'm going to calculate this. So remember, when we calculate interest, it's P times R times T. So P is the average daily balance. So I'll type equals. I'll click on the average daily balance times the rate. But remember, this is the APR. And the rate that I want is the daily rate. So I'm going to click on the 14.99, but then divide by 365 and now times my the uh, length of the period in days and that's where I'm going to use my rows command again d3 to d36 so what I have is the average daily balance that's the p the I5 divided by 365, that's the APR divided by 365, that's the daily rate. And then this tells me how many days. Hit enter, and there it goes ahead and calculates out what my interest is. As before, I'm going to click and decrease the number of decimals here. So now that I have my payments, my charges, my interest, I can figure out what the new balance is going to be. So I'll start by calculating equals. And the new balance is the previous balance. So I'll click on G2. And remember, the payments is going to reduce that. So I'm going to say subtract the payments, add the charges, and then add the interest. So I'm just taking the things that are above it, and I'm going ahead and having it do the calculation. And so now my new balance is $2,153.20. And that sample statement, that was exactly what we came up with on that, as was the average daily balance right here. So each one of you and your team is going to need to do a sheet like this. But remember, everyone's going to do the same credit, but each one of you is going to do one or two different purchases on that list of purchases in the project letter. 
After you've gone ahead and done all of these and I've graded it, then you're gonna to wanna to come together as a team, pick one of these sheets, and then add all of your charges on it. And with the way we've set it up, all you have to do is list the charges in here and everything in this should automatically update for you. That'll make it really easy to combine the information together. The tough part will be making sure you pick one where you know everything is correct.